Hi everyone. Um, well, today I got a request from Webkin's Brown Dog One to do a tutorial on the breakfast plate. I'm pretty sure that's what um they're talking about. So this is what I'm going to show you guys how to make. It's really easy. Um, so yeah. And then I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you the stuff that you need, and then um. Also, hold on, and how to make it. So yeah, all right, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna need, the clay colors you're going to need is red, or yeah, like red. Um, this kind of color, it's like a brownish, tannish color. Translucent yellow or yellow. I don't have any regular yellow, so that's why I'm using translucent, transparent, whatever you want to call it, white. Um, this is optional if you want to use transparent color clay, but if you don't have transparent color clay and you just have white, you can use white too. And then um, the any color of your choice for the plate. So these colors, basically. Um, you're going to need two cutters, a heart cutter, or you can just use make um the waff the um the heart waffles you can make them like circles you can just kind of flatten them with your fingers or whatever and then you're going to need a circle cutter or you can you know do the same thing but those are very helpful um you're probably going to need toothpicks um maybe a little bit of sculpey um TLS if not you don't have to use it um it just helps the stuff stick to the plate better but you don't have to and a knife or a blade or something because well blades are too thin that's why I'm not using a blade so um yeah here we go let me set you guys up so you can see okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to make up the plate um which is my so this is a silver color um you can either flatten it out um, how thick you want it or you can roll it to the pasta machine which I'm going to do and if you do have a pasta machine, roll it at the lowest setting you have. And like that. And then you're going to fold it over again, actually. Okay. Now you're going to take your circle cutter and just cut a circle out of it. So, and there's extra clay, and then uh, f like go around the edges and kind of make it smooth. And then there's your plate. Okay. Um, next, we're gonna make the waffles. You can either make two or three, depending on how big your plate is, or however you go by it. Doesn't really matter. So you're going to roll it through the pasta machine at uh, the lowest setting you have, and then fold it over once more, and then flatten it out a little bit. Alright, next you're going to take your heart cutter or circle cutter or whatever you have, and cut your three, two or three waffles out. Alright, now we're going to make the lines on the, see what they look like. Now we're going to make the lines on the um, pancakes, or the waffles, sorry. Put that aside. And I'll show you guys how to do this. Hope you guys can see it. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you're just going to take your knife and then just make um, a pattern, square pattern on there. Like... Like so, and go across, and just kind of make that little pattern like the waffles have. Or if you have like a waffle mold type thing, then you can do that. But if you don't, then just use a knife 
do it like this. So do do all two to three. What? How many ever waffles you want? Do all of that. One, two. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your plate. And for the first one, you can use a little bit of TLS if you want to. Obviously, you don't have to, but pick the one that's not the most attractive one. And you can put a little TLS on it if you want to. And then just take it and position it onto your plate however you want. And then the rest of them should just go on, like so. And then just kind of stack them up like this. Push them down a little bit. And then they should look like that. After that, you're going to take a little piece of um, yellow. You don't have to take like a big piece or anything. But just take a little piece. And... you're going to make it into a square for the piece of butter. I usually don't eat butter with my waffles, but sorry about that. You might need a cutter. And if you just want to Sorry if you can't see it, but I'm just cutting the little piece of butter into a square shape. So there's your little square shape, and then you're just going to place it um, onto your waffles. Alright, place it right here. Alright. And when it's done baking, we will put the um, syrup on it, which is, I'm just going to use the glaze. That's what I did for the other one starting to look like it. Now um, we're going to make the eggs. So you're going to take your white clay, try not to get it dirty, um, take a piece and roll it into a ball. And then you're just going to like flatten it into a, a shape. It doesn't have to be a circle. So just an unregular shape, and you're going to place it on there. And you could do two to three, it doesn't really matter, two, one, two, it doesn't, doesn't matter. However many you want, so. Okay. Like that. And then there's your two little egg yolk or egg whites. And then you're gonna take a little bit more of yellow, and you're gonna make the egg, egg yolks. And those are easy. You just take the um, yellow circle and flatten it. And then you can place it anywhere on your egg. And do the same thing. For the other one. And you're almost done. Oh, the eggs are kind of too close. I'll put a little bit of TLS on them. You gotta make room for the bacon. So, alright. The bacon is easy. Um, this is where you're translucent and then you're, you're um, red comes in handy, so you're probably not going to need as much red. So you're going to take your trans um, parent, translucent, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to roll it to the pasta machine at a really, at a thin setting, but not all the way thin setting. Like so. And then you're just going to cut out a strip with your knife or blade, whatever you want to use. Cause Knife is not working for me very well. Sticky. Uh. 
And this took me a while to like get the last time I did it because the red has to be really like the red and the white have to be really small. Like really small. Because you're rolling it through the pasta machine again, so and then you're gonna take some less leftover trans um parent and then you're gonna mix it in with the red. Because the red is going to need to look well, I tried to make a piece of bacon. This is a piece of supposed to be a piece of bacon. Um and a little red strip in it, but it didn't really work. <laughs> So, so just mix those together until they blend. And when they after they blend, you're gonna mix them through the pasta machine. You're gonna roll it through the pasta machine at the same setting you did the white. And now this is the tricky part. Try to make the red piece as thin as you can. That fits and it fits right in the middle of um, the white. Got that thick. Oops. Okay, about that thick. And then place it. Alright. This is the hard part. Alright. After that just cut off any access and then you're gonna it's gonna look like this and then you're gonna roll it through the pasta machine at the thinnest setting mine is or yeah the thinnest setting just like that and go straight down not sideways alright and it should come out to look something like that now cut um, a thin strip About that thick, or about that big. It doesn't really matter. Maybe a little bit thinner, actually, or a little bit smaller. And then you're gonna crinkle up the edges to make it look like a piece of bacon. And then you're going to make it like ruffles, so you just go up and down. It's kind of hard with a little piece of bacon like this. Okay. After that, you're just gonna place your oops, not cooperating. And then just take your piece of bacon and smush it on the plate a little bit to look something like that. Okay, my bacon didn't really work for me, but that's okay. Um, and now you can either put you can either put an eye pin in it or whatever, but you can just bake in an oven like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.